Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Grand Rising and Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you again with another general reading for the Gemini Collective. We're going to ask our spirit guides, our tarot cards, beautiful angels, ancestors to please provide us with the guidance that we would need to face the day today, what to look forward to, any information that would be helpful so that today can be productive, fun, enjoyable, rewarding, and memorable. So let's get into it. Take what resonates for you and release the rest for someone else to take what resonates for them. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's going on with your energy here. So here is what's happening today. Here is what's in connection. The solution, okay. New insights and the conclusion overall energy is the king of pentacles so gemini i see that you are practicing today you're gonna have to focus on prioritizing your thoughts you may have been having an overactive mind lately with everything that you have to do and you may not realize it, but you have everything that you need to accomplish what you're going to set forth to do. I see a lot of you are trying to monetize your passions and the weekends are the time that you have uh, to designate to do that. And I feel like you want to part ways with your old way of doing things. Like you may feel as though your most harmonious and your mind is most settled when you are doing things that you actually care about doing because Gemini, you are very good at doing a lot of things. You're very good at starting things, not so much at finishing, but you are very good at a lot of things and it has played to be played out to be a difficult feat to attain to complete everything because you're uncertain. So I feel like today you're you're going to figure out how to prioritize your thoughts so that your actions can follow suit. And the task in connection with that is being patient with yourself because your spirit guides brought out the star card to say, hey, I see that you want better for yourself. I see that you're, you've been struggling. I see that you wanna change your life to make it into a life that's worth living because right now you just feel like you you can have more, that you deserve more, that you don't have enough. And I don't feel like this is an energy of not being grateful. I just feel like this is an, an energy of someone who just knows that they deserve everything that's good. And they've been going through it. And now it's like, okay, I'm going to designate some time to finally address this. And with you parting ways peacefully with what no longer is for you and understanding that one chapter has to close for another chapter to completely open, I feel like you're going to address that today. And you've been addressing that in the recent past, but today, now that you have your free time, you may not work on weekends. So you just want to do things that are going to be serene and help you to sort out your thoughts so that your actions can um, reflect that. Now, the solution being the Ace of Pentacles, it's, so, it's saying that you have some new ideas, Gemini, and new ideas are great. The opportunities are coming, but you have to prepare for them, which is why today is a good day as any to put some things down on paper and put some dates towards those things that you'd like to accomplish because I see you growing in your purpose. Someone is getting their nails done today, may have broke, broken a nail that was random, black nails, witchy nails. Um, someone, a male, maybe getting a manicure for the first time today. So I see you embracing self-love. Um, someone's working in the garden today. Someone is thinking about gardening, maybe landscaping, a landscaping business. I feel like you're just thinking about ways on how you can monetize the things that you enjoy doing for free. 
And I feel like that is your solution. I feel like once you figure out what you enjoy doing most today, and I feel like you've been working on that, but you're really going to put your shoulder to the wheel and go out of your way to make yourself uncomfortable to address these things that you've been back burnering because you claim you didn't have enough time, but more so you were just afraid that it might not work out, but you've never really tried. So I feel like today you're going to really solidify those things. And then with the new insights being the magician card gemini that is your spirit guys meeting you right in front and center and saying like i provided you with the world wide web the internet so some of you might be saying well i can't afford to go to school to do what i want to do and a lot of the people like my competitors or people that i admire they have these fancy degrees but that's part of the people who are doing the same things that you're doing. They don't all have degrees. What those successful people have is a drive and a vision and consistency, and they're not afraid to fail. And I feel an energy that someone is not sure how to do what they want to do, not sure what they wanna do. And the thought alone just makes you feel stagnant and you don't know how to move forward, but you have everything with the magician card that you need to do what you need to do. You just have to embrace what where you are and respect where you are and do not compare where you are to anyone's success because it's going to depress you discourage you and put you back at square one and i feel like you've been going back to square one for some time because you just want to make sure things are perfect but you're not doing enough for things to be perfect you're not doing enough so this is a wake-up call for you today, Gemini. I encourage you to do your self-love routine today and every day. Do something that makes you feel good. Do something that makes someone else feel good. Because when you feel good or you get that energy of someone reciprocating some grateful energy to you for something that you've selflessly done, it plants inspiration in you to want to do more for yourself. That's how the universe works because we're not here to serve ourselves. We're here to serve others. And I know that you see a bigger purpose for yourself in your life, Gemini. And you just want to make life easier for yourself financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. I see some of you are struggling with the workout routine. Maybe you have a gym membership and you're not consistently going to the gym. You just have to buckle down for yourself and realize that everything that you want is going to take some time and some much needed work sometimes there's a strike of luck when you put that intention into the universe about what you want and you're specific about it gemini and i mean dangerously specific down to the hair on what you want to appear on your skin on a specific day i'm talking about specifics I don't know why I use that analogy, but I think you get the point, right? Specific. So when you put those powerful intentions into the universe and you do small tasks, no matter how small, big returns will come. This is not like the lottery where you got to spend big to win big. You just have to show the universe that you have faith in its ability to come through for you and it will show up for you tenfold because we are immaculate beings and you have to believe that you are immaculate for immaculate things to happen for you gemini i know sometimes you get down in the dumps about where you are in your life because you might have been at a higher and better place in your life in the past but life is a roller coaster it goes up and down and it's just a test to see are you do you have what it takes to keep going and you're still here so you do every day is a new opportunity to make some shit happen gemini and you know this but this is a reminder for you that everything that you're thinking about doing you just simply need to take small steps in the direction of where you want to go ask yourself what the hell do i want and and answer that question because with the conclusion being the four of cups your guys are saying if you don't take the time to apply any kind of consistency to what you want, you're gonna keep feeling lifeless and bored and uninspired. This is not the conclusion that you want. This is a wake up call for you, Gemini, today to take a meaningful step in the right direction, no matter how small, no matter how small, Gemini, you wanna, you wanna start a business, do the market research. You want a new job? Update your resume and upload it to Indeed or wherever them damn job sites are. You want to be a photographer? 
and you don't have enough money for the camera, use your phone and and maximize on uh, on social media. You want to edit videos for music videos for a living, but you can't get no gigs. Create your own videos and edit them and upload them online. You want to be a doctor, but you don't have the money for school or you feel like you missed your mark. Help people in other ways. Doctors help people. You don't have to help people in surgery. You can help people emotionally. But you have to first start by believing that no matter what it is that you want to do, you just have to start by believing that you can do it and do it in small steps. And you will see the changes. Today is your day to take a step in the right direction. I know it seems difficult because your mind creates problems that aren't even there. But your spirit guides are showing you that they're with you every step of the way. And you simply have to believe that you have the capability to manifest what you want. Spirit, please provide me with any final messages that you have for Gemini for today. Please provide me with any final messages that you have for Gemini today. Please provide me with any final messages that you have for Gemini today. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like your time is coming to an end of this stagnated feeling like you can't do it, like the hurt of not being where you want to be. I feel like you're leaving. You're going to you're going to you're going to figure this shit out. You're going to leave the old way of doing things. And although the, there's new ways to do things that make you feel uncomfortable, I feel like you're going to embrace that. And I feel like with this 10 of swords energy, it's coming to an end. This cycle is coming to an end and this life of being bored is going to change and it's going to make your head spin. Yeah, and then you're going to have to make a decision to move forward and that decision is yours with the two of wands energy on the bottom of the deck now. I feel like you're going to take that step forward because I feel like you believe in yourself enough to do so. I feel like you you just needed that push in the right direction and watching this film is the push in the right direction gemini we got this so turn that frown upside down and get out and get something <laughs> go ahead and drop a comment for a goddess to say hello even if this reading didn't resonate with you turn on post notifications share the video to share the wealth and i will see you next time love and light tribe